God. For he is God and he is God alone. Let us graciously give the Lord a hand praise. <laughs> Love 
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. After reading this morning, Psalm 19. Lord, thy hath been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Verse 10. The days of our years are three score years and ten. If by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Verse 12. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom, the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Our scripture will be coming from St. John, the 14th chapter, 1 to the 6th verse. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, they leave me be also, and whether I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not where thou go, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one cometh unto me but by the Father. Word of God for the people of God. Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 through 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow in mind, even as of which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the power to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another as we learn the word of the Lord. Elder James Brown, Senior Pastor of the Solomon Temple Church of Christ, Holiness unto the Lord. Help us all this morning. Help us all this morning. Help us all this morning. 
She was a soldier in God's army. She stayed on the battlefield until she died. When she was not able to come to church, she would send her offering. 
she would set up ties by Sister Robin, and Sister Robin would have strict instruction and give those ties and offering to Deacon Henry. And she followed down to a team. After the passing of my wife, Sister Henry, mother would call me every week just to find out how am I doing. That's what you call a mother. Family, we want to encourage you. This is the day that mom lived for. May the God of all comfort comfort you during this sad time is our prayer. Thank you. Amen. We would now have the ministry of song again, the Milton Solomon Bennett Memorial Choir.
once again. We celebrate here that we will enter into that greater celebration. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As we move forward, we have more continuation of Tributes of Love. Let's give two minutes, please. The National Mothers represented by Mother Ramella Patterson. She is an assistant national mother of the Church of Christ, holiness unto the Lord Incorporated. We will have the National Executive Board represented by Overseer Emory Hagen, the National Ushers Ministry by Elder Gregory Russell, who is also her godson, and the National Women in Ministry. Dr. Wanda Holiday, who serves as president. <laughs> God bless everyone, hallelujah, Amen. on the line tonight, today. Amen. And our worship of our mother celebrating her life today. Amen. Giving honor to all the bishops, the pastors, the ministers of the gospel. Amen. I have known Mother Hines all of my saved life. When she lived in Brooklyn, New York, Mother Hines loved the Lord. She lived the life of holiness and righteousness. Mother Hines would call me from time to time, and I would call her back from time to time. She always had a word from the Lord to encourage me. I have never heard Mother complain. She always had to talk about the goodness and the mercies of God, though she was going through herself. How she wanted all of her family to be saved. Mother High loved people. She was a woman of faith and courage to the children and grandchildren, great grandchildren, all her church family. Mother High lived the life. Amen. We will miss Mother High. Amen. I knew I was going to miss her because she was a great woman of God, a loving mother, a compassion person, a prayer warrior. Amen. She did so many things. I don't know all the things that she had done Amen. her lifetime for the Lord, but God knows what she has done. She's gone on family, friends, church pastor, all the leaders, all the people that are in the auditorium today. Look up children, be encouraged. And the mother lived the legacy that we all can live by. And it's because she was a safe woman. I say to mother, sleep on mother, take your rest. We love you. I love you from the heart. And may God be with you always. He is there with you. No more sickness, no more sorrow. And may you have fought a good fight. And God knows all about it. Thank you. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Love the God love her Amen. The tribute of love coming from Mother uh, Patterson, who resides in the state of New Jersey, and we're unable to attend on today. So we will move forward with the remainder of the tributes of love. Bless you. We thank God for being here today. And we thank God for our general overseer. And we thank God for the hope, uh, bishop of our national board. I come today to say to the family that the condolences from the executive board are very deep. Brother Hines, going deep in the church of Christ of the Lord. What she done, the way that she served, and the way that she carried herself was a life to her many people. There was a day that a lady was born, and she was born a child. She was born into this world now, 
her next and she was given a book. And it was the book that she was to write her life in. But one day, she took her name out of the books and she put it in the book. And when she took her name out of the books and put it in the books, and she began to build up her reward. She began to put things in the book of life that Jesus could record and be able to give to her. Because there was a day that Jesus said, the day they're going to come and I'm going to come quickly. So he said, behold, I come quickly. He said, my reward is with me. I give to everyone according as their work shall be. Mother Hyde worked from the bottom all the way to the top. And her works will be remembered by the saints of the Holy God. I say this and I'll be finished. My wife and I knew Mother Hyde when we first came into the church. Everything went rosy for us. We went through some struggles. Mother Hyde saw around our house for many days and talked to my wife. She's not here today because she's ill. But she told me to make sure that I let the family know that she appreciated this wonderful woman of God. Sometimes you can see with your eyes everything that some people do. And sometimes you don't see it at all. Right. But family, God knows everything. Amen. And he records everything. Amen. And all the good that was done by this great woman of God, God has already recorded it. And her, and her, it is in, in the book with him right now. As I see your writing, and as you wrote that she is free, she wrote something, you wrote something down here that I love to say so many times, that when you put it on paper and you put it in pen, and it belongs to all of us. You say, perhaps my time seem all too brief. Don't lengthen it now with undue grief. Lift up your heart and share with me. God wanted me now. He set me free. Amen. Family, friends, God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Going home service of our dear beloved mother Hines. Amen. Praise God. My godmother. And she's about one of the best godmothers I've had. Amen. I tell you, she was a very sweet and loving person. I tell you. Amen. We spend a lot of time on the phone talking. Amen. Praise God. But as an usher, amen, we talking about a faithful person in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. She worked faithfully on the, on the usher board. As being the head usher. And, and as it started, I think it started in New York. Her, her and mother, or uh, uh, her and mother Houston, and which brought on down, they've been to Georgia, praise God. And mother worked faithfully as, as an usher. And, 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 and if you couldn't work with Mother Hines, you can't work with anyone. <laughs> praise God. But mother was kind. She always had that big smile. Well, I call her mom. You know, that, that's, y'all, I, y'all don't call her Mother Hines, Evangelist Hines, but that's mom to me. Praise God, amen, praise God. But I enjoyed working with her. She instructed us many times on the usher board, and even when she wasn't even able to work on the usher board, guess what, she was still working on the usher board. <laughs> amen, we'd be running out and not doing what we're supposed to be doing. Mother, mother, I get our attention. She'd look at me and say, I know, I know what that means. <laughs> I done messed up now. <laughs> Something I didn't do, praise the Lord. But the mother taught us and trained us, amen, in order to be a good usher, you got to want to be a usher. And if you don't have a, the heart of an usher, you will not, not do your job correctly and efficiently. Amen. Pray to God. And, and she knew and I knew that if you've been on the usher board, usher is not an easy job. Amen. Usher is not an easy job. I, if you don't believe it, try it just one time, is all I say. Just one time. That right there. Amen. Pray to God. But mother worked faithfully. Amen. She worked hard and she taught. Amen. I was down sitting with her about a couple weeks before she uh, passed. And, and guess what? She talked about usher and giving me instruction. Amen. Praise God uh, concerning the usher boy. Amen. And the one thing mother told, mom told me, say, she looked and said, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. And you know, we got to live a life that we'd be ready to go when Jesus called us. Amen. Praise God. Mom, she was tired. 
Amen. Praise God. And she knew she had a better place awake on earth. Amen. Amen. Her mom lived a life. They told me she didn't just talk it. Mom walked it. Yeah. Praise God. Her mom lived holy, not just on Sunday. Mom lived, lived holy seven days a week. Right. Praise God. I know, praise the Lord. You know, knowing mom a long time, praise God, and enjoy her. Gonna miss her. Matter of fact, I already miss her. Amen. I, I was about to read the phone the other night to call her, and I got to realize yeah. she won't answer. Mother. Praise God. You know, as young people, you got parents, spend time with them. Yes. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Don't be disobedient to your parents. Amen. Amen. One day, they're not going to be with you always. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Love them and treat them right. If they do get on your nerves. Amen. Yeah. That's mom and dad. Amen. Praise God. To the family. <laughs> Be strong in the Lord. Yeah. And in the power of his might. Yeah. God is going to see you through this. I know I've been there. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Uh, if, are there any ushers that's on the board now in, in, in past and present? Please stand this time. Of say of 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 our of, 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 of church of Christ holding to the Lord. Do we have any ushers here? Yeah. Amen. In the honor of our dear beloved mother, amen. let's give her a round of applause. Amen. 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 Thank you so kindly. The National Women in Ministry, Dr. Wanda Holliday, who serves as president, vice president, serving along with her, Evangelist Beatrice Mincy and Evangelist Gloria Boyd. Evangelist uh, <clears throat> Gloria Boyd resides in North, the state of North Carolina, Dr. Holiday in Fort Lauderdale, and Evangelist uh, Beatrice Smith in the state of Georgia. Dr. Holiday was able to attend, and I don't believe the uh, vice were able to attend as well because of circumstances beyond their control. Dr. Holliday said these words of tribute, expressing love. <clears throat> to the family of Mother Aretha Avon Hines, we wish we could be there to celebrate the memory of your mother and our mother. Unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are unable to express our love in person Mother was an, an amazing and beautiful person. She was scary, committed, and loyal to the cause of Christ. She has left a trail of beautiful memories. Her legacy lives on in our hearts. She will be missed. She will be remembered. May our Heavenly Father wrap his loving arms around you and comfort you. You are in our prayers and thoughts. Lovingly submitted, the Church of Christ, Holy Sons of the Lord, Incorporated, National Women in Ministry Presidents. At this time, we have the Ministry of Song from the Milton Solomon Bennett Memorial Choir. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
my brother and I, we're here to celebrate Amen. the home going of our loved sister yes. and mother, shall I say. Yes. When I say mother, praise God, she was the oldest of seven children. All right. And when our mother died, she died at a young age. And my three brothers here, the three of us, we were the youngest. And my sister, she would take care of us. Yes. She would make sure that we yes. had the necessary food, next necessary clothing. And she, as a mother, at a young age, she took care of the three boys. Right. Praise God. Right. And every now and then, we would call each other. She would call me, and I would call her. And she would say, how is my boys doing? <laughs> and I thank God. Praise God for our beloved sister. And I done sat last night and I listened at all of the comments that came forth that how my sister touched their heart. Praise God. They touched us. My sister touched a lot of saints' heart. And her legacy live on. Praise God. She's going to be missed. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. But she's not gone. Yeah. And she will not be forgotten. Praise yeah. God. She will, she's in this presence of, of the Lord. Praise yeah. God. The Bible says that she will be in her presence. In the sight of the Lord. Yeah. In the precious of power. In the sight of the Lord is the, the death of the Lord. Is Precious in the sight of the Lord and the death of the saints. Praise God. Right. So she's in the presence of our Lord. Praise God. So she won't be missing. Praise God. So my Bible tells me that we that are saved, we will see her again. We will. If you are saved, you will see her again. Praise God. My Bible tells me that the Lord Himself yeah. was sent from heaven oh, with a yeah. shout, yeah. with a voice of an archangel, yeah. with a trumpet of God, uh -huh. with a trumpet of God, praise yeah. God. Yeah. And we will see her again, yeah. praise God. We will see our Lord, sister, again, praise God. I'm lifting up my scripture. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me. The Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a shout. And with the voice of the archangel, and with the, the death in Christ, the death in the Lord, the saints will rise first. And we that are alive will be part of together with the Lord, with the saints. with these words, that we will see our beloved sister again, Amen. praise God. Amen. The sense for God. Amen. If you're not saved, Amen. if you want to see Avon again, yes. you have to make Avon God your God. Amen. Make her, make God your God, if you want to see her again. Amen. Praise God, because we're going to see our beloved sister again. And my Bible tell me the Lord himself yeah. is going to wipe away all tears. Oh, there will be no more deaths. There will be no pain. Right. Praise God. My beloved sister probably was in a lot of pain. Praise God. But she's not going to be in any old pain now. Amen. She is in the presence of the Lord. Praise God. The Lord himself is going to wipe away all tears. Oh, yeah. She will not have to cry anymore. Praise God. She won't have to be alone anymore. Praise God, she is in the presence of the Lord. And praise God, we thank God for her. If you want to see her again, you want to have to be saved, sanctified, and filled with his precious Holy Ghost. If you're not saved, if you're not sanctified, you will not go to heaven. So you've got to be saved. You've got to be sanctified. Praise God. And I'm going to say to my my nieces and my nephew, praise God, cousin and friend, yes. praise God. Will God keep you and God's going to bless you, but you have to stay with the Lord. Yes. Seek the Lord while he may be found yes. and call upon him yes. while he is near. Yes. So you have to seek the Lord now. Yes. If you seek him now, yes. he, you would find him. Yes. But if you want him, you have to seek him. 
So we thank God for the saints, praise God. We thank God for this church, praise God. And we thank God for how you have taken care of our sister, praise God. And we give God the praise for you. Yes. We thank God for the praise that went up already, praise God. We believe in praise God, praise God. We believe in praise God. God for her life, praise God. That she live a saved, sanctified, a Holy Ghost filled life. And I thank God for her. And I thank God for you. Thank you. I 
Yeah. 
We thank God for the, the words from uh, Bishop Abram Houston, the solo from Brother Omari Wapow. We will now receive the reading of the obituary to the same Lumpkin. Thereafter, the resolution will also be read. Minister uh, William Lipsy will come after Sister Sable. The obituary. The blessed life of Mother Orisa Avon Hines. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inspire in his temple. Psalms 27 and 4. A time to be born. Orisa Avon Hines was born to the late Mrs. Billy May Gordon and the late Mr. Arthur Hargrove on June 24, 1931, in Riceland, Florida. A time to be educated. She was educated in the Liberty County Public School System, where she attended the Liberty County Training School in Riceland, Georgia. Because of her educated ambition, she later received a formal Christian education. A time to be progressive and to love. Later, Avon, as she was affectionately known by her family and friends, moved to Brooklyn, New York, where she met and married her hometown friend, Herbert Hines, on March 12, 1960. While rearing her children, she found the time to work various afternoon and evening jobs in the medical field. During her career, she never wavered from being a loving, compassionate, and devoted wife and mother. A time to rejoice. In 1953, Aretha accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as a personal Savior and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. She became a dedicated member of Tully's Kelly's Temple, Church of Christ, Oriented to the Lord in Brooklyn, New York, under the pastorship of the late Bishop Ernest Kelly. There, her spiritual journey began. She was an ardent member of several ministries at Kelly's Temple, of which the usher's ministry was primary. Sister Avon read her children in the nurture and admonishment of the Lord. She laid a Christian foundation for her children to build upon and led, the, led by example of how to walk in the will and way of the Lord according to his word. A time to enjoy life. Sister Avon and her husband decided to move back to Georgia in the early 1970s. She became a member of Solomon Chapel Church of Christ, holiness unto the Lord in Midway, Georgia. At Solomon Temple, she continued to serve in the usher's ministry. She was also a fervent member of the pastor's aid board and hospitality committee. Her passion and commitment as an usher in her local church motivated her to organize the state and national usher's ministry of the Church of Christ Holiness unto the Lord, CCHL. A time to serve in ministry. Sister Hines accepted her call into ministry and became a minister of the gospel of the, in the early 1990s. She matriculated and graduated from M. Solomon Bennett Bible Institute. After completing Bible training, the Lord began to elevate her and she assumed leadership positions in the Women in Ministry Department. She was president of the Georgia State Women in Ministry for several years. Later, she was appointed as the Assistant National Mother of the Church of Christ for the of the Lord, and subsequently became the National Mother of the Domination under the auspices of the presiding Bishop Moses Lewis. Mother Hines also served as church mother 
of Solomon Temple until her demise. A time to serve the community, Mother Hines' greatest joy was serving others. She was known throughout the community for her selfless love and emphatic concern, concern for everyone with whom she met. She loved her family and friends and demonstrated such, such by her meals and fellowship she so often hosted in her home. A time to die. On my view, August 28, 2023, while at a home with a family, the Lord Jesus called Mother Hines to a heavenly home in glory. She was preceded in death by her loving husband, Deacon Herbert Hines, and five children, Linda Hines Taylor, Herbert Hines Jr., Barbara Hines Jones, Kevin Hines, and David Hines. Three brothers, Joseph Carter, Charles Carter, and Ben Carter. Two sisters, Francis Floyd, Francis Floyd, the Gloria Lover, and one godchild, Katie Franco. She lives to cherish her memories through Dorcas, Dor Dorothy Gordon Frazier, Minister Alberta Hines, Deacon Tracy Anderson, and Robin Hines, one son, Stanley Hines, all of all of Riceboro, Georgia, 18 grandchildren, 20 great grandchildren, and six great great grandchildren, three brothers, Deacon Isaiah. Patricia Carter of Hinesville, Georgia, James Roberta Carter, and Robert Cynthia Carter, both of Rochester, New York. Two sisters-in-law, Precious Carter of Rochelle, New York, and Bernice Bacon of Midway, Georgia. Fourteen godchildren, a host of niece and nephews, cousins, spiritual sons and daughters, and the Solomon Temple Church family. Acknowledgement. A word of faith does not fully convey our appreciation for your prayers, thoughtfulness, and support to our family during the illness and demise of our precious loved one, Mother Orisa Amon We will forever hold dear in our hearts your loving acts of kindness, your phone calls, cards, personal visits, food, and support. Your expression of Christian love and friendship can never be measured. It can only be acknowledged with deep gratitude. Very special thanks to Pastor James Brown King and the Solomon of Georgia staff, Jacqueline, Jerry, Betty, Darlene, and Kendra, loving caregivers, Angela, Robert, and Katia Jones, Pastor Errol and Evangelist Jones Roach, Godchildren, Deacon Malcolm and Evangelist Lavonia Katie LeCount, Godchildren. to the presiding bishop, we read these words. From the office of the presiding bishop, Bishop Moses Lewis, presiding bishop and chief apostle of the Church of Christ, holiness unto the Lord. Dear family, dear family, we were indeed saddened by the passing of our dear sainted national mother, Mother Aretha Avon Hines. The Church of Christ, holiness unto the Lord, incorporated with one heart extends our deepest condolences to you, the children of our sainted mother, Aretha Avon Hines as well as the entire Heinz family. 
Our beloved Mother Hans was not only a dear saint, but she was a servant beloved of Christ's church. She conveyed the beauty of holiness and Christ's love with wisdom, meekness, and virtue. Her love and commitment to God and Christ's faith in them was demonstrated in every, every aspect of her life and ministry. Mother Orita Avon Hines was a living voice of strength and hope, a saintly woman of grace and favor, who loved the Lord's church with all her heart and soul. Thus words are not enough to express what her life meant to so many and to the church of Christ, holiness unto the Lord. Mother Hines had provided salvation to the lost, given and gave strength to the believer and preached hope and salvation to the church. She was blood bought God gifted, love lifted, promise driven, power given, one of God's last day reconciling agents of love, an oracle who would speak hope until it manifested itself in victory. Yet, it is in seasons like this, being unable to fully comprehend the plan of God, that we bow our heads in humble submission to the Father's will. But more importantly, we recognize that this loss, this loss is heaven's gain. May God preserve you in his love, keep you in his arms, and bless you forever, family. From the presiding bishop, Shemotah Sewers. Church of Christ Holiness unto the Lord. The, the, members, the members of the executive board that's present today, will you please stand with me? Apologies for not doing this. Resolution for Mother Olivia A. Monahan. Whereas the officers and members of the Church of Christ Holiness unto the Lord do hereby pay tribute to and respect to the loyal and dedicated service of Mother Olivia A. Monahan. Because we are human, we do and feel sorrow in our heart. We rest in the Lord for peace, the God of all comfort in our presence and service. Whereas, Mother Hines was a reverent and devoted woman of prayer who loved the Lord and served for many years as a devoted member of Solomon Temple Church of Christ. And as the national mother of the entire body of the Church of Christ, holy unto the Lord, she served as president of the local WAF and as one of the founders of the National Usher Board. We declare with Job, Job 19, 25, for I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. We declare with Jesus, John 14, 2 and 3. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may also be. If I go, there you may also be. We declare with Paul, 2 Corinthians 5, 6 to 8. We are always confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are present from the Lord. For we walk by faith and not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Philippians 1, 21 and 23. For to me to live in Christ 
and to die, or me to live in Christ and to die is gain. For I am in a stretch between two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. But it will not be the end of her story. That's not the end of Mother Heidi's story. Because the memory and influence of her life will live forever. Because Mother Hines committed her life to God and the work of God, she was energized by a power greater than this natural world understands. We knew her as a great friend and a wonderful encourager of God's people. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace the bereaved family in our common bond and remembrance and grief. We extend our sincere sympathy and will lift you in prayer during your time of healing. May God continue to bless and keep you and wrap his healing arms around you and to strengthen your, your faith and that you trust in him. Respectfully submitted the ninth day of September 2023, Bishop Moses Lewis, Chief Presiding Prelate of the Church of Christ, Holiness, and the Lord. This one is from National Evangelist Regina Lipton Evans. To the family of our beloved mother, Aretha Avon Hines, it is with a broken heart that I write these words of comfort to you. Mother Hines, as I call her, has always been soft-spoken, a woman of wisdom, and she demonstrated love for the people of God. Mother Hines certainly exemplified the way holy women should walk, talk, and live. Mother Hines was very dedicated and faithful to the state and national ministry. I encourage the family to follow in her mother's, grandmother's footsteps. Mother Hines has fought a good fight here on earth, and now she's gone to receive her reward that is to be with the Lord. My prayers are with you on this day, Saturday. September 9th, 2023. Right. Resolution of respect. We are today comforted by the words of our Lord in Revelation 21 and 4, which says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things all passed away. Whereas God, in his infinite wisdom, has called from earthly labor our dear mother and usher mother Avon Hines, who passed from this earthly scene on Monday, August 28, 2021. Whereas the hearts of the National and State Usher Department have been saddened by the death of our sweet sister and mother in the Lord. We redeem this fitting to express to the family our deepest sympathy and whisper a prayer for them that they may have enough strength to bear their sorrow and resolve further that we bow in humble submission to the will of our Heavenly Father who knows best. Resolve further that we will strive to emanate her examples of God of gentleness, patience, courage, and unwavering faith. Be at peace in the everlasting love of the Lord. Respectfully and lovingly submitted on behalf of the officers and members of the National and State Usher Department of the Church of Christ Holiness unto the Lord. Head Usher, Greg, Elder Gregory Russell, Deacon Mitchell Coley, Georgia Jurisdictional Bishop Abel Houston, Chief Apostle and Prelate, Church of High Court unto the Lord, Bishop Moses Lewis. Thank you so much, Sister Sarah Lumpkin and Minister, oh, Minister Dipsy, 
for the presentation of the resolution, flights, and the reading of the obituary. <laughs> the slide presentation as, uh, would not be shown at this time. However, it can be viewed on the Dorchester Funeral Home website. Keep that in mind. The slideshow of the other nights can be viewed on the Dorchester Funeral Home website. Some of you may have already seen it. I have, and it's very beautiful. Lots of beautiful memories that we can keep in our hearts of our dear mother. The declared word of God will be coming next uh, after the sermonic selection from the choir. The declared word of God will be given today by Overseer Horace Oliver in the absence of our chief apostle and presiding bishop, the most reverend Mo Moses Alfred Lewis, who was unable to attend today. Let us keep him in our prayers. After the sermon, the removal of the pole, at that time, the, the adjutants will do that, but at that time, we ask it, the family to remain seated, but all others in the audience, please stand at that particular time. Thank you very much. And uh, now we will have the sermonic, sermonic selection by the choir.
staff, we thank God for you here today. We're here today to celebrate. celebrate. Amen. Celebrate. celebrate. We're here to celebrate, celebrate. the home going service of our dear mother. And I look at those dates and I said 70 years of service. 70 years of service. Before I was even born, she was working for the Lord. And don't look at me funny, many of you. Before you were born, she was serving the Lord. Hallelujah. And I looked at 72 years of life and 70 years of service. And I asked myself a question, and then I said, Now, you were 92 years old. And when she got saved, she served God for 70 years. And I'm just thinking, out of all the time she was saved, there were some difficulties. There were some cold days. I saw all that in that 70 years. There were some disappointment days. 
but she held on. What it took for mother to pull on. Something she had to have for her to hold on. You said, I'm reading, you didn't read the text yet. <laughs> 20 years I was, she, I served her as pastor. 22 years. I'm not, I don't have to guess about Mother Hannah. Nor try to think of something pleasant to say. I have seen 20 years of Mother Yvonne Hannah. Sweet, loving, kind lady. Woman that loved God. Woman that know how to treat her husband. Yes, yeah, so Yes, yeah, I was there with her and Deacon for 20 years. But it comes a time, church, that of all the time God will give you to live, realize and understand this. We will come to a close of the day. Realize this and understand that none of us want to die, but all want to go to heaven. If you don't mind, I'll read the text. And I can have my argument. We'll read in your hearing 2 Corinthians 5 and 1 and 2. And it reads. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God in house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Verse 2, for in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. Verse 10, for we must all appear before, before the judgment seat of Christ, that every man, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Hallelujah. I'll just give you a thought from the text. It will just be a prepared person for a prepared house. You have to be a prepared person to receive a prepared house. Or I can say a mother that is prepared for a prepared house. And in this text, verse 5 says, for we know that if our earthly house were resigned. We have a building, not made with hands. Want to declare to you today that our dear mother, glory to God, lived the life she was called to live. Since God saved her, she was saved for 70 years. We even say that in those 70 years, I'm quite sure that there were some difficulties. I'm quite sure that it was some rainy day. I'm quite sure that she knew when the covenant got low and how she had to prepare and fix food for our family with what she had. It's good to know that somebody can deal in the kitchen with skilled hands. And mother had skilled hands in the kitchen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mother know how to do things. Those old patriarchs know how to stretch stuff. I don't know how they do it, but those old people know how to stretch a chicken. They can stretch a chicken. They can, they can take a, a, a chicken and, and you can have and, and have ten head of children and all can have something to eat from that chicken. So, so you don't do too much of that chicken away. Oh, our mother knew how to handle a chicken. Oh, yes, she did. Oh, my God. Too much you can throw away a chicken.
see the mother didn't even throw away the chicken foot. Oh, oh but we got on time now. People don't know nothing about chicken feet. My mother knew, I said, I'm going to throw that chicken feet away. Give me those feet. I know what to do with the chicken foot. You know, Bishop, I heard somebody say they didn't throw away the head. He didn't kill the chicken. Hey! That's right! Only thing get rid of, the only thing throw away from the chicken is his beak and his toenails. When you're coming through difficulties, you need to have a skillful mother. How the hound stuff shall to make things hurt. Family, I want to declare to you, you had a dear legacy of your mother, a skillful woman. Yes. Woman that knows that when she got saved, she didn't get saved and forgot the process of what it's going to take when I come to this point. Okay. See, you got to know when you get saved, you, when you get saved, you got saved to really prepare yourself for this spot. Yeah. Glory to God for this place. Yeah. Glory to God for the Bible says, glory to God, we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle will dissolve, they say we have a building. Oh my God, Mother Hansen, she got saved. She got realized when God touched her and came into our life and showed her, glory to God, that glory to God, after this life, you have a building. So Mother Hansen said in her heart, I believe, when you get saved, she said, well, I got to start sending up with them. Got to start sending up a two by four. Right. Got to start sending up a two by six. Right. I got to start sending up my rafters. Right. Right. I got to start sending up my roof. Right. I got to send up my, I gotta up, send up my, my window down on the roof. Right. I got to put in my sliding doors. Right. I got to send my doors up there. Right. Hallelujah. You see what a preacher said to say. You know, mother, you got to keep on talking spiritual here. Right. Right. See, spiritual here. My life, glory to God, sends up my temple. Yeah. As mother lived in this world, as she lived in this life, yeah. this natural body designed as a building, yeah. this body, glory to God, amen, reflects as a building. This, yeah. this is a house. Yeah. See, mother, I moved out of that house. That's just a shell of a house that mother lived in. Hallelujah. Because as she was living in this house, Many of us right now, glory to God, we in this house, but we, when we first were born, we didn't felt no pain. All right, all right. When we first born, we didn't felt no pain. All right. We didn't even felt no when we got became a teenager. We didn't felt no pain. Yes, sir. I didn't have no pain in my knees. I didn't have to wear no glasses. Glory to God. I don't know nothing about no apparatus. I didn't know nothing about that. I just can flip backwards, front one, ride a bicycle backward. Glory to God, I don't know nothing about it that far. I don't know anything. I don't know nothing about pain. But glory to God, as mother lived. My God help us. In the body itself. When mother first moved, when God gave her that body, it had its, its solid foundation. It wasn't pure. If you don't shoot a foundation by you have a leaning to yes, But when God designed Mother Hines, she was perfect. Yes. Hallelujah. And when she was when she walked before God and came before God, hallelujah, knowing that glory to God's circumstances was gonna arise. Yes. But it made Mother Hines stay. And that's what I want to talk about. What will hold you? Yeah. What caused you to hold on? In a time like this. The time Mother Hines came through, many of us wouldn't have made it. 1923, when 1931 she was born. Those times were difficult times. And as she was young in those times, and when she came and gave God the life, what hold? I thought about that thing. I said, what the Lord is telling me, telling me here? And sometimes people can do it. People can do some stuff to you. Ah, yes, yes, yes. People can do some stuff to you. In 70 years, she held out. So the thing, it was something that held my life. It had to be something that held my life. It had to be. When difficulties arose, when trouble came, the children acted up. Glory to God. That's why, that's why we need to have a relationship with God that when the storm arrives, a song I used to listen to, it says, if there's no storm in your life, wait a while. 
on this journey. Mother told us and talked to us, and I had my meetings and talked with her. I went to her house and talked with her. I was out of town when she passed, but normally I'll be there, and I sit there with her one day. And our mother was, her and I had a wonderful conversation. And she was just telling me about the goodness in, in her son. Oh, oh, not that baby boy, but <laughs> Kevin, Lord have mercy. No, she loved them all, but that Kevin. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. That Kevin, Lord have mercy. Lay on our heart. She used to tell me, Pastor, I didn't even touch his womb yet. But that's all right. She loved it, her children. She loved her sons and daughters. She loved them. And she lived the life before them. If you didn't live right, it wasn't on mother, mother part that you didn't live right. But she lived the life before her family. Hallelujah. I want to declare to you that glory to God in the 10th verse says, Oh, we must all appear. Glory to God before the judgment seat of Christ. That everyone must receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, rather it be good or bad. Touch somebody says, coming up again. Mother Hines, I'm pretty sure, have preached to her family. I'm certain that she told you that glory to God, you must be born again. I'm certain that she told you that glory to God, you have to put away your sin. I'm pretty sure she and, and Mother Hands have a sweet way of telling you the truth. She doesn't just tell you all. Oh, she has a sweet way of telling you the truth. And in this she, I'm pretty sure that she told her sons and daughters. She told her, her, her aunts and nieces and nephews. Glory to God. We all say, I want to see you again, Mother. Yes, we all want to see Mother again, but the only one way we're going to see her is that we be born again. Yeah. We have to give Christ our life. Yeah. We have to turn from our wicked ways. Yeah. If Mother Hines will tell her, will talk to you today, she will tell you that glory to God. Yeah, you know, you need to be saved. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I remember my the, one of the brothers, I remember that was Brother Joe. Y'all help me with Brother Joe. Now, Brother Joe was a brother, uh, uncle. Brother, uh, brother Joe, me and Brother Joe were good close friends. So y'all know, I know some of them. I know, I know them. All right, all right. Brother Joe was a good man. Hallelujah. But our dear mother, amen, after she saw that glory to God living in this house, living in this house, she starts seeing glory to God coming down to my closing. Mother Hines, after noticing this old body, and been in this body for 92 years. Yeah. I see that glory to God that, that our dear mother, see you must be observant of your natural house and your spiritual house. Yeah. See if you're not observant of your natural house, right. you might not try to have a leak in that house. Right. And you say, oh, I'll fix it after a while. Uh -huh. I'll fix it after a while. A year go by, you said, I'll fix it now. But the leak is still in the house. If you don't fix it, it's going to damage something else. In the natural house, you might find windows knock out. You say, well, I'm going to fix those windows. Winter come and the window still ain't fixed. Cold air now blowing in. The roof leaks. So in the spiritual house, as this house, the natural, the spiritual house, it is also like so. If you don't be careful in what you deal with the spirit, the natural house. See, you can say, well, it, when this house just started breaking down, right now I got I got a pain in my knee. I walk sometimes out of limp. Oh, mercy. Mm. Glory to God. And mother, mother and mother saw that glory to God, the spiritual house beginning to stop needing some even repairs. See, when Mother Hines born, she ain't born with glasses. But when she got older, she said, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to need some new glasses to put on here. I'm going to need some new shades to put in this window. Hallelujah, Jesus. And as the time go on, glory to God, you might say, well, Glory to God, when I was born, I was born with 32 teeth. Oh oh Hallelujah. I came in this world, I came in this world with no teeth. I came in this world with not, I, I came in here um, truthless. But as time got better, I got 32. When I started growing, I got 32 teeth. Hallelujah. So glory to God, now as time progressed, 
Look at somebody say, time is going to change. Say, time is going to bring a change. That's in real. I don't care how pretty you are. I don't care how handsome you may look. I will declare to you, it's going to change. Oh, yes, it's going to change. Oh, yeah. It's going to change. And as my mother saw, amen, the condition in our natural body, amen, she started paying notice. Not saying that I have to get something right with God. But when you keep it all right, you still got to pay notice. As Mother Hines paid notice to the body, she said, now it's time, I believe, it's time to pack up. It's time to pack up. It's going to come a time, Bishop Stephen, in our life, that we're going to come to the city and say, you know what? I got to pack up. I got to pack up now. I got to get ready to get out of here, Mother Hines. I got to get ready. I don't know when. I don't know when. You could, it's going to hit you, but it's going to hit you. That come right. You say, I'm going to have to get out of here. And when Mother Hines even came to the conclusion that glory to God, I got to, I got to get up from here now. I've been sick a long time. And there's a building. There's a house in glory that God has prepared for me. But we got a building that made not with hands. Hallelujah, Mother Hines. Amen. Put our lock, our heart, and mind on the kingdom of God. Lock our mind on the house. Lock our mind in heaven. Glory to God. Forgetting about, amen, the things that we do in this life. Forgetting about, amen. It comes a time too that glory to God I found that glory to God there are some things that glory to God that you will not do no more when you reach a certain age. When you reach a certain age you ain't going to do some things. No. You're not even going to have a desire to do no more. You ain't going to have a desire. But I wasn't worried about no more shopping. She was worried about going downtown to see as a robot. She was worried about going to the garden and try to find a new dress, a new outfit. My mind was satisfied with what she did. She didn't went around trying to go to the garden, trying to be with the Joneses. But what she had on the inside was enough to sustain her, was enough to hold her. It comes a time you got to know what you have on the inside of your one set. You got to know that you know that you know that you are ready to meet the Savior. See, when you are ready to meet the Savior, you don't mind that. Matter of fact, she ain't dying no more. She just sleep. That's all she knows. She just sleep. And when Jesus comes to wake her up, she'll be going to that new house. She will be going to the house that God has prepared for. In my closing today. I want to give you a little thing that I normally do. I want to give you something to think about. You say what you want about old, old saints, but they have the solution for us to be prosperous, for us to be wise, for us to be holy people. Those old patriarchs, they are, she was an old warrior, a woman that loved God. That's why I'm thinking about the story about the, the young girl in our granddad. This story went on and says that the young girl and granddad went on a trip. It says that the young girl, uh, the dad, granddaddy, uh, the girl was driving and they came into a big storm. And uh, the young girl says, Granddaddy, uh, I think you ought to drive now. The storm is too rough. And the granddaddy looked at the young girl and says, keep on driving. And the girl kept driving, and the rain started coming down heavy. And the young girl looked at the, over there at the granddaddy again. She said, granddaddy, I believe you ought to drive. For the water's coming down too great. And I can't hardly see the road. But granddaddy says, keep driving. They went on and drive a little longer. And after the, she went on, the windshield wiper couldn't do his job. And she said, granddaddy, I can't see. She said, granddaddy, I think I need to pull over and let you drive. Granddaddy looked at her and said, no, keep on driving. Or if you would only listen to the old folks. You only remember what your mama taught you. And as the granddaddy, as they kept driving, and then they came coming out the storm. And they came out the storm. And the granddaddy said, now, pull on the side. Granddaddy said, now, pull on the side. 
I can see now the sunshine. I can drive now. The granny said, no. Now I'm put on the side. Yeah, no. Girl put on the side. She got out the car. Hey, granddaddy got out the car. He went back to the trunk. Yeah. By the trunk. She said, now, look where you are. He said, yeah. He said, he said where you are? I'm out the storm. He said, where all of those in the storm stop at? Where are they? They're still in the storm. Yeah. They still in back there in the storm. But because you told me to keep trying. That's why when mama got saved, she kept trying. Through the hard times, she kept trying. Through the difficulties, she kept trying. Through the criticism, she kept trying. Through the talk about, she kept trying. Oh, Lord. Hey. Oh, Lord. Mm. Oh, Lord. Mercy, Jesus. Mama kept trying. Now, when she came out the storm of her life, now, God said, now look, the light. Hallelujah. No more pain. No more heartaches. No more difficulties. No more shocks. No more doctors. No more love. No more eye doctors. No more teeth doctors. No more stink. You have to throw the stick away. You can take by the stick now. Thank you. 